Healthy Lifestyle Crib Presents Don't make these 8 biggest keto mistakes. Because of the lack of research on the keto diet, it can be difficult to predict the weight loss or other benefits you may experience. In any case, the keto diet is extremely restrictive, so it can be challenging to get it right. For example, you'll have to cut out starchy vegetables, limit fruits, and stay away from grains, sauces, juice, and sweets if you follow this diet. You'll also need to eat a lot of fat, as per the standard keto food list, lots of it. Ketosis, the metabolic state that causes your body to burn fat instead of carbs, can speed up your weight loss if you follow this diet. Even so, if you're new to the ketogenic diet, it's easy to make mistakes because carbs are in almost everything and fats come in a variety of forms, not all of which are healthy. To make sure you're following keto as safely as possible, avoid the following common keto pitfalls. Number 1. Not drinking enough water can lead to dehydration. Don't forget about what you're drinking in the midst of all the focus on what you're eating. Keto increases the risk of dehydration. Fluid and electrolyte imbalances can occur as a result of the ketogenic diet's reduced carbohydrate intake. The body flushes out the buildup of ketones in urine, which also depletes water and sodium from the body as a result of the depletion of carbohydrate stores. That's all I have to say, go ahead and drink some more. You should drink half your body weight in ounces of water daily by consuming a large glass of water in the morning and sipping frequently throughout the day. Number 2. Cutting your carbohydrates and increasing your fat too rapidly. Suddenly, you're downing only 20 grams of carbohydrates a day, which is usually the recommended starting point for people trying out the keto diet for the first time. A medium apple contains 25 grams of carbs. That could be a major shift in your body's structure. Number 3. Neglecting your vegetable intake. Dietary fiber is found in a variety of vegetables. So, even lettuce, which is high in nutrients, must be consumed in moderation. To avoid being kicked out of ketosis, avoid eating carbs carelessly or in a free-for-all fashion. If, on the other hand, you find that counting every baby carrot is too time-consuming, you may want to give up on vegetables altogether. However, it's vital to eat a variety of veggies, which include fiber, which helps reduce constipation, a possible side effect of keto, while keeping a close eye on portion sizes and accurately tracking your carb intake. Leafy greens, cucumbers, tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, and asparagus are all examples of non-starchy vegetables that provide a wide range of nutrients. Number 4. It's easy to forget to eat foods high in omega-3 fatty acids. Don't rely solely on bacon, cheese, and cream as a source of fat on your diet. It is important that you include anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids such as EPA and DHA when selecting your fats. If seafood isn't your thing, cod liver oil or krill oil can be substituted. Avocados, olive oil, and seeds like chia seeds and flaxseed are also good options, if you haven't already, stock up. Not only are they suitable for the keto diet, but they also provide your body with the healthy fat it needs to function optimally. Number 5. Not talking to your doctor about the diet. Many people who follow the keto diet want to use it as a form of therapy for a medical problem. Talk to your doctor first to see if they're on board with your plan, especially if you're taking medication at the same time. It is possible that your doctor may need to change some of your medication when your symptoms improve. One example is insulin, which may require a lower dose now that you're restricting carbohydrates so strictly. Number 6. Not getting yourself ready for the keto flu. At this point in your body's transition from carbohydrates into fats, you may experience flu-like symptoms, such as muscle cramps or nausea, known as the keto flu, which can last for up to two weeks. It's not the same for everyone. As a result, many dieters give up on the diet altogether if they aren't prepared for this type of feeling. You can also help yourself get through the period of low energy by planning your meals or meal prepping, as well as by eating potassium-rich, magnesium-rich, and sodium-rich foods and staying hydrated to alleviate the symptoms of the keto flu. Number 7. Not adding enough salt to your meals. You may not be used to hearing the call to eat more salt in a society that consumes more sodium than ever before. But on the keto diet, it's essential. You may be getting less table salt, which is made up of 40% sodium and 60% chloride, now that you've eliminated the most common American source of salt, packaged, processed foods like bread, chips, crackers, and cookies. Ketone clearance also causes the body to lose sodium. In the event that you're on a ketogenic diet, you'll likely be making most or all of your own meals and snacks, so simply season with salt. Number 8. Carb counting and forgetting about the quality of the food you eat. 
even when the primary goal is to substantially reduce carbohydrates, the remainder of the diet may feel like an afterthought. In addition to reducing your carbohydrate intake, focusing on higher quality products when your budget allows can improve your health. Instead of packaged keto delights, choose omega-3 rich foods like wild salmon or meats raised on pasture or raised locally or organically. As part of this, you should strive to incorporate as many nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables into your diet as possible. For this reason, many licensed dietitians advise against following the ketogenic diet. Give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you appreciated this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive new videos as soon as they are posted. Also, don't forget to watch our other videos. Many thanks for taking the time to check it out.